Hi, hi everyone, welcome to Eden Secret. Today we're doing something really, really special. I've got a bit of a guilty pleasure that I need to admit to you. And there's a TV show in the UK called Love Island. If you're in the UK, you can't escape it because it's everywhere. It's a massive, huge show. But me being on the older side of life probably shouldn't be the type of program I'm watching. But um, we're doing a Love Island soap today. I got myself a, a soap stamp made on Etsy. I'll put the link to that in the description box and it's just, it's the Love Island logo. We're going to be starting off with some melt and pour soap because I need a heart going through the soap because I want it to look just like the image that is used to promote the show coming up right here. So what I need to do the hearts first off is I've got some no sweat melt and pour. I've got some fragrance Harbour Mist from Saint Perfique which is a very clear light coloured fragrance and obviously it smells like the sea. I've got some heart shaped silicone moulds that I'm going to use uh, to put embeds. So this soap's going to have an ombre pour, it's going to have melt and pour embeds, it's going to be stamped with soap. It's going to be stamped with a soap stamp. I'm going to chop my melt and pour into this Pyrex jug and then I'm using mineral makeup ingredients, super light gold. And this is a fantastic, if you want a really, really glittery, it doesn't get any more glittery than that, Mica. Look how beautiful. So that I'm going to put into the melt and pour heart embeds. So first off, we're going to start by chopping up some melt and pour from Stevenson's. And Stevenson's do many, many different types of melt and pour. I absolutely love this no sweat version because it doesn't sweat. And then we're just going to pop this in the microwave on one minute increments until it's nearly all melted. So we're going to add just a little bit of fragrance into the melt and pour. And we're also going to add some of that beautiful glitter. And then we're going to pour the glitter and soap into the moulds.
got some lovely cute little shell molds um, I'll put a link to those in the description box I have got like some seashells and dolphins and octopuses and sharks uh, but I'm not sure I want to use those in this soap so I don't think I'm going to make any embeds out of these yet I think shells will be enough so we're going to chop some more melting pot and I don't think it'll take very much at all to fill these molds because they're absolutely tiny So probably just a couple of hundred grams in there and they're just the sort of size of the palm of my hand so yeah it won't take much at all to fill them so I'm going to pop this into the microwave on 30 second increments because remember this is less than 500 grams in here if you're doing more than 500 grams then you can probably do it on a minute increment so we're going to take a brush and some of that um, super light gold and we're just going to um, we're just going to dip a little paint brush in there and tap a little bit of gold into each embed I don't want it absolutely covered so rather than sprinkle it in I'm just dusting lightly not in every single little nook and cranny because they are very small give it a little spray with some rubbing, rubbing alcohol and then I'm going to put some ultra sparkle white in from um, mineral makeup ingredients not too much just a little bit enough to give it that beautiful glittery glow and because these molds the cavities are really small I'm just going to take a pipette in fact I think I'll pour some of the soap into here Hopefully it won't melt the, the container and just suck it up and then drizzle into each cavity. And these are going to go on the top of the soap so I'm going to have a nice texture on the top and then something else is going on the top as well so in this pipe this soap we've got embeds we've got an in the pot swirl we've got some piping it's got everything going on this soap I just hope it looks as good as I envisage sometimes you envisage you have a picture of what something's going to look like in your head 
and then when you've made it it's like oh I'm disappointed so I'm hoping we won't be disappointed with this one do here some of them are a little bit they've got a little bit too much soap in so I'm just going to run my knife over and scrape those off so any extra bits that are going to make the embed too thick and I've literally it's only a minute since I actually poured these They're going to be like diamond shells, aren't they? That's what they're going to look like. They look like diamonds already, don't they? So small and delicate and just so super cute. I'm, at, I'm just going to leave them in there, actually. I'll unmold them when it's time to put them on the soaps because they're going to they're come out really easy. tiny babies teeny 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 seashells They're going to look so cute on the soaps. You probably won't be able to see them very well, actually, but they're there. They're going to be there. So, Sarah, if you're watching, I just want to thank you again for these gloves. They're great. They're nitrile, but they're not like the nitrile I've bought. The nitrile gloves I've bought just split really, really easy. These feel strong. And they actually fit me a bit better. They're, they're not as long on the fingers. So, um, thank you for those. If you're watching. So I'm just going to use the 500ml container uh, to separate off some soap. But I'm not going to put any fragrance or anything in that yet. Uh, we're merely just separating it off at the moment. I think that would be enough so I've got about 400 mils in there I'm just going to put like 200 mils in there because I just want to drizzle a bit really So they don't need to be identical measurements. Um, this one here is going to be my sand, so I've got a little bit more in there. This layer will be the layer for the sea. And then this layer will be the layer for the sky. So what I need to do here 
is actually separate some of the sand off because the sand is going to be gold but one of them is going to have a little bit of titanium dioxide in the other's just going to be gold then we're going to do it in the pot swirl and then we're going to pour into the mold So we're using bright gold today because I don't want it to be really strong. Uh, Aztec gold would probably be a bit too rich and deep and I don't want that. It's, if you've seen the photo it's like a nice pastel-y uh, looking sand. Probably the most perfect looking coloured sand ever. of um, TD in this one and see how that just lightens it up somewhat we need some fragrance in there as well it's really quite strong this fragrance so I'm just going to put two capfuls in to this section and then one capful into this one Just hoping it doesn't speed up, accelerate. I'd say that sand's actually a perfect colour. Right, so we're going to pour the darker gold into the lighter gold, just sporadically all over. give it a little bit of spoon type of mix like so Well, it's not accelerating very much. It's still quite loose, so I guess this fragrance doesn't accelerate and it doesn't discolour, so that's a massive plus. So here we are. It's about finding the perfect moment that you can put an embed into the soap. 
you want it to sink in maybe a centimeter but you need the rest of it to stand up out of the soap and that's exactly what we've got now i would say it's about three quarters of an hour since i poured this and so we're just going to start obviously the hearts need to go to one side don't want to go overboard with it I'm actually using hummingbird blue because this is the nearest to turquoise that I've actually got I've got that very pale blue uh, Neptune blue but I think that one might be a bit light so I just thought if I put a little tiny bit of this in there just gonna start with that might be somewhere near. here and we're just going to drizzle a little bit of the white over on this side same side as the as the heart the jug TD in that just a little bit because the soap batter is getting a bit thicker now because it's a slow moving fragrance it's very you'd be better off when you're doing layered soaps to have a faster moving fragrance and then the layer on the bottom sets up a lot quicker so by the time you get to the top your layer 
is still fluid. So that layer doesn't need to be too perfect because we're going to go in, going in with this layer now. I was going to be doing a an ombre, wasn't I? But because the soap's getting thick, I'm not able to do that. This will work. Okay, so we've got a bit of white soap made up here and again I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that right across the top here. You can't actually see the sun but you can see the rays so I'm going to take a kebab stick and see if I can make it look like we've got sun rays in the soap in a way I shouldn't tell you what I'm going to try to do because then if it fails So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this through the soap like so. So we didn't manage to get the palm trees in there which is a shame. I almost nearly not managed to get this, show you this texture in either because my battery went flat and then the camera card was full so had to try and upload all of that onto my uh, computer. So now I'm rushing for time. So at least you see in this texture, but I want to actually try and put some clouds on the top. So I've got a round nozzle piping bag here and this soap, we're going to be okay. It's not as fluid as I would like it for what I want to do. But we're just gonna we're gonna scoop all this white soap into the piping bag. Gosh, I feel like it's ages since I've done this. And then what I want to do is I actually want some flat clouds. I don't want them, them bubbled up on the, on the soap. So I'm actually just going to keep the piping bag really low like this. I mean, do they look like clouds? They don't really, do they? 
but that's what they're supposed to be. <laughs> but you get the idea. And then we're going to put those um, lovely shell shapes on there. Hey, at least we've gotten most of it done. Just, I think, too many steps for this soap. If the fragrance had moved a bit faster, would have probably been okay, but it didn't, so we can't. Now we're going to run out of soap, so I'm just not going to put as many on now. I'll, I'll come back if we've got any more in this bag. Just enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll put them on instead of on the clouds, I'll put them in the soap. That's a good idea. Well, I guess I could put some on the clouds, couldn't I? I think they look better on the clouds. I know what I need. like precious jewels from the sea. really happy with it I was really really worried about this this turquoise in the middle but it's absolutely fine it's perfect in fact and the sand's just a beautiful pastel gorgeous creamy color isn't it very very happy the hearts turned out perfect 
I was a little worried I had too much glitter in there, but no, we're absolutely fine. I love it. And this white here just creates sort of clouds, doesn't it? got to kind of try and check it from all angles to make sure it is in line and where you want it and then press down hard as you can give it a nice rock trying to keep the the stamp in the correct place rotation of the heart in there and there we go beautiful love island inspired soap from eden secret
So there we have our Love Island inspired soap for 2021. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to share the video if you want to help my channel grow. If you want to place a comment, please place a comment below the video. Any information you need to know is in the description box below the video. Like it or dislike it, whichever you want. And if you want to join and become a member of this channel with a monthly subscription, click the join button next to the subscribe button. If you haven't got that, there is a link in the description box. And this is just a limited edition soap. Once they've gone, they've gone. And thanks so much for watching everyone. I'll see you all for another video coming up very, very soon on the channel. I'll see you all soon. Bye bye for now.